Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is October 19th, 2023. I'm here for my Wordle and Quartle of the day, kind of. And to, I guess, acknowledge this day in history, because I can't say celebrate, this day in history back in 1960, when the United States imposed a an almost total trade embargo against Cuba. We would still send food, and we would still send medicine. So we had those humanitarian aspects that we left open, but all further trade and travel were completely banned. And a lot of that exists to this day over 60 years later. I, I'm not saying that's good or bad. I'm saying I think it's incredible that that trade embargo has lasted so long. And I look at all of these Cuban flags and I think, well, that's a bit excessive. I mean, look at all of those you know, flagpoles. That's quite a bit of nationalism displayed right there. And then I think, what if those were American flags? Would I still think it's excessive? And I'd think, oh, that's a neat art installation. That's pretty, that's pretty impressive. And yeah, that's just about right, that number. So there is this bit of nationalism. I'm not going to get into the politics of, you know, whether or not the United States was mostly right or mostly wrong. Um, were mistakes made? Oh, sure. I could tie my shoes and make mistakes. We make mistakes all the time as humans. But I do know that the United States felt a strong need to protect itself. And that's one of the ways that we did that. And I think we didn't expect it to last this long. But here we are today. All right. All of that. And here's the thing. I've already talked about this before. And you won't hear it because I accidentally erased all all of the recording after I solved the puzzles. And that's a problem because I can't go back and resolve them. So after I click off this screen, you're going to see the entire Wordle puzzle completed. And then I'm going to go through what I did to get there. So be prepared. Spoiler alert, I start with the word trade. If you like to start with my starting word, the word is trade. And then what you need to do is stop this recording, go solve your puzzle, and then come back because big spoiler right after this. All right, so here we go. I started with the word trade. That gave me a T and an A. And I thought about using some of those more common letters like S and L, and maybe I should have, but I kind of wanted to try natal because it worked well with this idea of, of you know, your natal home, patriotism. Uh, and so I thought it would also help me situate the A and the T. And natal did work with the A. I got the A seated. Although I, I kept thinking that maybe an A went there and I had to keep reminding myself, no, we tried that and it didn't work. You know, maybe there was another A in there. Uh, and then it also gave me a, another exclusion for the T and another letter. Now we've got L. And I talked about maybe having a vowel here or maybe a, th a three consonant blend, but I never explored that three consonant blend. I was taking a long time. It took me over eight minutes to solve this because I kept going back and forth with what it could be here. You know, trying the L in different spots, realized that the L and the T wouldn't sit together up at the top. You know, it couldn't be LT um, and not likely TL. And then I just gave up and I was, I wanted to do salty. And then I realized, nope, I was going to be placing the A there. So I tried silty. That's how I got to this word. And then uh, that gave me the S and the L and the A all placed. I knew that the T couldn't go here. So it had to go here. I looked to see, I saw splat right away. And then I just double checked to make sure. And indeed it was splat. I tried it. That's what happened. I'm so sorry you didn't get to see that, but in some ways I spared you, you know, six minutes of me agonizing over it. So, uh, and then now with Quirtle, I don't even get to show you the development. Uh, I just get to show you the result. I don't know how to bring that game back. So I'm going to go ahead and press it. Spoiler alert, do your Quirtle if you want to. Uh, you're going to see now what the answers are. Here we go. Okay, so with my four starter words, I had a lot of things 
placed already. And the first word I went to was truer. I was a little bit nervous because I thought maybe I was uh, ignoring some of those letters that we hadn't tried yet. But that looked good to me because I had so much placed already. And then when I went to singe, it was easy because the S couldn't go, I think it was in this spot, so it had to go there. And so, no, I think it was maybe with the N. I can't remember. But uh, I knew where the S had to go, and that meant that the only leftover letter had to be placed exactly where it went. So that was super easy. Do you know what? I didn't do truer first. I did bust first. I did bust first. It looked pretty straightforward to me. Then I did truer, then I did singe, and then argue. I just saw it right away when I saw the letters. And I don't think that if I had to think about it, it would have been tough because, again, we had a lot placed and there were only certain places things could go. So I'm so sorry, but that's it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.